Since the mouse was very simple and had the least ambitions of men, he did not desire a city wall and did not want a city life. At the time of 488 BC, Cincinnatus was living on re in retirement on his four-acre farm outside of Rome, near the Tiber River. Representatives from the Senate came to Cincinnatus and informed him of the emergency facing Rome. The Aquians had started a war with him, as well as some of Rome's neighbors, by plundering the lands of a few of Rome's allies. In retaliation, Rome sent deputies to complain about this. The leader of the Aquians, Gracchus was very insulting towards the deputies. Since Sinatus, upon being called, immediately said goodbye to his wife and left his farm to lead the Romans to victory against the Aquians. Fifteen days after the victory, he resigned his position as dictator and returned to his farm. This was very noble, and Cincinnatus became an idol among Romans. Cincinnatus was the ideal dictator Rome needed at the time. The Aquians were an Italic tribe on the stretch of the Apennine Mountains, who were a part of ancient Rome's early history. The Aquians were in existence when the city of Rome was founded. They fought many wars with the Romans and eventually lost, ending with Rome building more colonies on their soil. Among those wars include the Battle of Mount Algidus, 458 BC, the Battle of Olea, 390 BC, but the Aquians were not subdued until the end of the Second Samnite War, 326 to 304 BC.